what's popping homies it's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and i have an update in the deandre cottrell's case all right so i want to say this a lot of stuff has been going around rumors speculation especially on tiktok all right you don't know what to believe and i don't want to put out any misinformation about this case because you just don't know but i'm gonna say this i think Julian Morris knows exactly what happened, okay? And he's keeping quiet. He has an attorney. And so his attorney made a statement. So let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, so we know the backstory. DeAndre Cottrell's body was found in a shed two days after he and his partner, Julian Morris, showed up at DeAndre's sister's home for the 4th of July. So we know all of that, right? Okay. The sister said they got to her house around 6 p.m. Thursday night. She said that around 9 p.m. her brother went inside their home, which sits along the 7900 block of 4th Avenue South, to check on his dog because of the fireworks. Now, Angelica said that about an hour later, Julian approached her and said her brother jumped out of the window. An hour later, after he went in the house, Julian told the sister that DeAndre jumped, you know, out of the window. But why, though? That's the thing. Why? What was he running from? What happened? And that's why I said I know Julian knows exactly what's going on, but he's not saying anything, and that's why he has an attorney. So... It's it's just sad. It's just really sad. So, Julian's attorney made a statement, right? Let's get into it. So, on Wednesday, Morris attorney based out of Birmingham, Alabama, released the following statement. Mr. Morris is a college-educated veteran, 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 excuse me, whom has served his country faithfully as a Marine. He has no prior misdemeanor or felony convictions, despite the false narratives that are being you know, said about him in this situation. He loved DeAndre Cottrell and is currently grieving the death of his loved one. Now, Mr. Morris wants answers as well and is awaiting these those answers after a full and thorough investigation has been completed. Under the advice of counsel, he will not be giving any further statements at this time, which I think is a smart thing to do. He don't have to go on platform to talk about what happened. He is doing exactly what he needs to do is to keep quiet, listen to his attorney, let his attorney make statements when he has to make a statement, and that is it. But I do think Julian knows a little bit more than what we all know. Now, if you go on TikTok, you are going to get an earful of speculation. You're going to get an earful of rumors. Now, however, those speculation and rumors sound interesting and i'm not saying it couldn't have happened that way but you just don't know you just don't know now the birmingham police have not provided any official timeline of events that unfolded that evening the only explanation of the circumstances that led up to Cottrell's disappearance has been told by his family so here's the thing he went into the house to check on the door right he was, he was in there for a while. According to this article, an hour later, Julian Morris came out and told the sister that DeAndre jumped out of the window and over the fence. But what was he running from? Now, ring cameras, you know, surveillance cameras of people's houses picked up, you know, picked up DeAndre running and some even saw him walking in the neighborhood. But then his shoes and other things started coming up that the police has found. And now he's no longer with us. So somebody unalived him. The question is, who unalived DeAndre Cottrell? What happened? Why did he jump out the window and run? What is going on? This case is so mysterious. It's like, 
is insane. It's, it's insane because you don't know what to say. It's like you can make all these theories and, and speculate and have rumors, but it's like the only person that would know exactly what happened is Julian. He's the one that came outside and said, your brother jumped out the window and ran somewhere to the sister. He sat down and he ate the food. And he told the sister, oh, this food is so delicious. I don't know, guys. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think happened in this case. It's just so weird. It is so weird. Because I'm hearing a, a lot of different stories. And I just don't know what to believe. So, I'm just going to wait for updates from the authorities. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all I can do. I can wait for updates. <sighs> this is sad. You know, like I said, I send my prayers and condolences to the DeAndre's family. And I know Julian must feel some type of way. But he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Keep his mouth shut. Stick to his lawyer. Let his lawyer make the um, statements. And that's it. When the investigation is over, I'm pretty sure they'll have more information than any of us that's following this case. The police know a lot more than what they're putting out. They're just not saying anything yet. Okay? So we just got to wait and see. But I really want to know what happened because this is such a... This case is so mysterious. It's like, what the heck is going on? But anyway, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I just want to come in and talk to you about the statement that was released by his attorney. And that's it. That's all I have. But I'll talk to you guys later.